we are on the Create a New Project page. To import a project from such popular tools as Excel or MS Project, click on the Import button. Name your project here, or simply leave it without a name. In this case, your project will take the name of the imported project. Then you can drag and drop your file, or download it from your computer. I will choose an Excel spreadsheet. If the file contains more than one spreadsheet, you can choose the one you need. I choose Project 1 and click Continue. The file has been uploaded. If by accident you have chosen the wrong sheet, you will have a chance to delete it and make your choice again. Now we are ready to click Import My Project. We need to synchronize the columns from the imported project with the columns in Gantt Pro. My first column is WBS number. In the drop-down, I choose WBS number. Please note that there should be no signs at the end of the numbers in your columns. Then I have task name, then duration. For the start and end dates columns, it is important to choose the proper format. In my case, it's days, months, years. If you want to delete a line, click on the special sign on the left of it. Now we are ready to click Start Import. I will choose which columns to show and hide. We see that all the information from the Excel file is shown in Gantt Pro. Let's go on with Import from MS Project. It's even easier than Import from Excel as no additional setup is required. We go to the Create New Project page, click Import, choose File, and click Import My Project. We have to wait for a little. Then, we see that all the information from Microsoft Project is imported, including dependencies between tasks, working schedule, and resources. For now, this is all I have to say in this tutorial. Which tool have you used more often for planning? Excel or Microsoft Project? And why? Please leave your comments below and plan your projects with Gantt Pro.